Hey guys, I'm back with part 2 for crochet pigment. If you haven't made the body, I will link in my description box below. But today I'm going to show you how to make the accessories for the top including this flower and this cute little bud at the top as well as the leaf here as well. I'm also going to show you the different variations like the nose for the red pigment and the ears for the yellow pigment. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's get started! Here are the materials you'll need. Okay, now for the leaf. You are going to go ahead and make a slip knot and chain eight. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we are going to do a slip stitch and then a single crochet stitch and half double crochet stitch in our next two. So yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, come out. You should have three loops. Yarn over, come out through all three. And then do the same half double crochet in our next stitch. And then we're going to do single crochet stitch, single crochet stitch, and then slip stitch in our last chain right here. Okay, now we want to work the other side of the chain. So we are going to turn and on the other side of the chain, we are also going to do a slip stitch and then single crochet stitch, next stitch, single crochet stitch. And then we are going to do a half double crochet stitch. Next stitch is going to be a half double crochet stitch and then a single crochet stitch and then slip stitch and last stitch right here going to do a slip stitch okay and then we can go ahead and chain two one two and then previous chain you'll do a slip stitch and then into the very first chain right here do a slip stitch okay and we're going to cut off a long tail and fasten off and here is our our leaf completed now for the ear with yellow yarn you are going to go ahead and make a slip knot and you're going to chain two that's one and two and then to the very first chain we're going to do four single crochet stitches so that's one two three and four going to go ahead and close our loop tight and we're going to ignore this first one right here and we're going to do two in each stitch around so you should have eight single crochet stitches at the end so here is going to be one and two this one is three and four then five and six and then our very last stitch is going to be seven and eight. Okay, and then I'm just going to put my stitch marker right here so I remember where my last stitch is. And now we're going to stay for round three. Stay at eight stitches all the way around. So it's just one single crochet stitch in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. Now for round four, our pattern is going to be two and in our next three, just one, repeat the pattern around and you should have 10 single crochet stitches at the end. So that is one 
and two, and then one, two, and three. Repeat the pattern again. One and two, and one, two, and three. We're going to cut off a long tail and fasten off. Now, this is our ear completed and you'll want to make two. Okay, for the nose with red yarn, you are going to go ahead and chain two. That's one and two. You're going to slip stitch into the first chain. You're going to chain one and turn. And you're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. Chain two, that's one and two. Turn and you're going to do a slip stitch into the previous chain. Okay, now this is the part that's a little bit tricky, but this sort of fabric right down here, you're going to fold it up on top of each other, fold it in half. And then in the very first stitch right here, you'll actually want to go in through both layers. And then we're going to go ahead and join with a slip stitch. So yarn over, come out through both, and we're going to come out through this one as well. And then you're going to cut a long tail. Okay, and then if we look, here is our little nose completed. Now for the flower, we are going to do five single crochet stitch into the magic ring. That is one, two, three, four, and five. You're going to pull the circle closed. And now for round two, we are going to do two in each stitch all the way around. So you should have 10 single crochet stitches at the end. So this one is one and two. Okay, one and two here as well and continue to repeat all the way around. Okay, now I'm ready to do a color change. I'm going to get my white yarn and make a slip knot. And then into my next stitch, I'm going to do a single crochet stitch. But instead of finishing off, I'm going to grab my white yarn and go through the rest of the two loops. Okay, and we're ready to do our next portion. I'm going to go through the back loop, which is just the one loop right here. And I'm going to do a slip stitch. And then I'm going to chain four. It's one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to do a um, four treble cluster. So I'm going to wrap around two times. Then I'm going to go insert my hook, yarn over, come back out, yarn over, come out through two, yarn out and come out through two. Okay, I'm going to do that three more times. So I have four of these right here all together. This was my chain and now this was my my um, treble cluster. So I'm going to yarn over two times, insert hook, yarn over and come out, yarn over and come out through two, yarn over and come out through two. Now I have three. Okay, I'm going to wrap it two times. Insert hook, come back out. Okay, now I should have four. Okay, I'm going to do that one last time. Wrap yarn two times. Insert hook. Yarn over, come back out. Yarn over, come out through two loops. Yarn over and come out through two loops. Now I should have one, two, three, four, five loops. 
I'm going to yarn over and come out through all five. And then I am going to chain four, one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to go into the same stitch and do a slip stitch. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and do another petal, but I'm going to skip this first stitch here. And then to my next stitch, I'm going to go through the back loop and make a slip stitch. Okay, chain four, one, two, three, and four. Now we're going to do our four treble cluster. So yarn over twice, insert hook, yarn over and come back out. Yarn over two, yarn over, come out through two. Okay, and we're going to do that one more time right here. Now we should have three. Okay, another one. Come out through two, come out through two. Now we should have four. We're going to do that one last time. Wrap around twice, insert hook, yarn over and come back out. Yarn over and come out through two. Yarn over and come out through two. Now I should have five left. Yarn over and come out through all five loops. And then I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then into my same stitch, I'm going to go ahead and do a slip, slip stitch. So that is my second petal completed. Okay, now let's go ahead and skip this stitch into my next back loop only. Remember, it's the single one right here. Going to go ahead and do a slip stitch and we'll continue to do our petal all the way around. And after the petal is finished, we are going to slip stitch to join to the very first petal. Okay, and then we can cut off the long tail. And here is our pretty flower completed. For the bud with white yarn, you are going to do six single crochet stitch into the magic ring. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then you are going to close your loop. Now for round two, you will do two single crochet stitch in each stitch around, so you'll have 12 stitches at the end. So that's one and two, and three and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10, and then our last stitch, 11 and 12. Now you should have 12 single crochet stitches around. Now for round three, we're going to go through the back loop only. So it's not through both, but only the back loop right here. And we're going to do one single crochet stitch and each stitch all the way around. So you're going to stay at 12 single crochet stitches. So at the end, this is how it should look like. So if we look, we can see the little ridge right here since we went through the back loop only. For round four, we are going to do a decrease and then the next four, just one stitch and repeat the pattern around. We're going to do a decrease right here and it's just going to be one, two, three and four, repeat the pattern again, a decrease, and then one, two, three, and our very last stitch, four, and now we should have 10 stitches all the way around. For round five, our pattern is going to be a decrease, and our next three, just one, and repeat the pattern again. So that's going to be a decrease, and then one, two, and three. Going to do a decrease, and then one, two, and 
in our last stitch three and now we should have eight single crochet stitches around for round six you are going to decrease all the way around so it's going to be one two and three and our very last decrease which is four now you can remove your stitch marker and what we're going to do is slip stitch our way all the way down until we get to the front loop of round three so i'm gonna slip stitch down the bud until i get to the bottom of round three and then i'm going to work in rows so i'm going to do four single crochet stitches that's one and two three and four and then i'm going to chain one and turn and i'm going to do four again that's one two three and four i'm going to chain one and turn and then i'm going to skip my first stitch right there and i want to do three single crochet stitches so that's one two and three chain one and turn and i want to skip the very first stitch so i'm going to do one and two stitches only chain one and turn i'm going to stay at two so that's one and two now what i want to do is slip stitch down the petal so i'm going to just go ahead and slip stitch my way back to the round um, three front loops and i'm going to repeat the pattern again of four single crochet stitches so that's my fourth one i'm going to chain one and turn and then that's one two three and four again chain one and turn here i'm going to do three so skip the first one and that's going to be one two and three chain one and turn i want two so skip that one and then right there i'm going to do one and two chain one and turn and i'm going to stay at two so that's one and two that's my second petal completed i'm going to work my way down with a slip stitch again until i get to the front loop section again i'm going to i'm going to repeat the pattern again for this third loop so that at the end you should have three petals and what you want to do is pull the petals up so that it creates a bud and then we can sew the petals down into place For the supple with green yarn, you are going to do six single crochet stitch into the magic ring. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you're going to close your loop. And then we're going to do two in each stitch all the way around. So you'll have 12. That's one and two and one and two and continue all the way around until you have 12 single crochet stitches now for round three we're going to work in the back loop only so that's the back loop right there which is single loop now we are going to chain two that's one and two and then do a single crochet stitch into the previous chain and now we're going to do slip stitch in the back loop that's one two and three slip stitches chain two again one and two single crochet the previous stitch and then slip stitch one two 
and three and repeat all the way around and when you finished you should have four points at the very end and then you can fasten off and this is how your sepal looks like here's our bud we can put the sepal on the bottom and then sew into place And here is our finished Pikmin Amigurumi. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I will catch you next time. Bye for now.